everybody. I really hope that you're well. Um, I waited until everyone has gone out to film this video. Um, everyone's gone to see something. And normally I would go to, but um, I'm actually working from a home home today because I don't know, I didn't really fancy getting into the studio. I've been doing quite a lot of work on some corporate stuff recently and I thought I'd take this nice Wednesday off. So having like a nice chill one at home instead, I've actually still done quite a lot of work. Um, all the stuff that I've kind of been putting off doing, I decided to do today. So it's been super productive. I've just been doing it from home instead, which has been nice. I'm gonna go for a nice long walk after I film this because normally if I'm in the studio, I'm in the studio from like, nine till five so by the time i get home it's pretty much dark and i mean i don't i feel very safe in falmouth but it's not really that fun walking in the dark this is my new shirt it's very static but i don't know i don't know how to make it not static uh this video is going to be a bit of a chat really um just because i feel like i did a bit of an update before i came back to YouTube a couple of weeks ago but I thought I'd kind of chat through like what my weeks are looking like at the moment kind of what kind of work I'm up to I asked for some questions over on Instagram as well and just going to talk a bit about how I feel at the moment because I am really enjoying seeing what everyone's up to how they're kind of dealing with this weird time and understanding how everyone's kind of getting through it so maybe this is just a nice bit of distraction because to be honest nothing is really happening at all Someone asked me what my current goals are and I really like this question because I am currently on a business course. I'm on I'm on two business courses actually. One is the Alice Benham on it course. Um, Alice Benham is like a business and marketing coach and I'm on her like group program for the year. So that's a really good one at like keeping you accountable as a business owner because obviously YouTube is part of my greater business but I am actually like a photographer and podcaster. So that course is really good at keeping you accountable you're put into accountability teams of like three or four people and you're kind of tasked with making sure you will keep on track and setting longer term goals that will happen over the course of 2021 i'm really excited to see kind of where that course takes us because it's really nice being with like-minded business owners um it's cool to set goals that are actually quite like big goals I guess. Oh and the other business course I'm on is actually like through Cultivator Cornwall. Um, if anyone wants to know more and are based in Cornwall and they study at Falmouth or study anywhere in Cornwall, DM me on Instagram and I will um, let you know more because it's not really relevant if you don't live here but it's basically a funding scheme that helps local and recent graduates who are still living in Cornwall, but unless you live here and you're planning to after graduating, it's not really that relevant. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of goal setting and kind of looking at what I want out of the year. And I think one of them is that I want like a clearer focus as to what I'm trying to be as a business. I do a lot of things and when someone asks me what I do, I don't really know what to say because I do so many that it's hard to pinpoint it as one specific thing. Kind of refine what I want to be as a business and how I want to get there. And hopefully over the course of 2021, I can be even more established in whatever that field begins to be. So one is clarity, I guess. I also want to grow more, one in terms of clients, but two in terms of network. Like I want to network a lot more, take more opportunities, take more, like apply for more things and be really proactive with that kind of side of it. I'm really good with reaching out to people in my own network and very like connected, but I'm not very good when it comes to like new people and keeping in contact with people. And I think I need to try and find a way of doing that, whether that's through like a newsletter or attending more online courses or LinkedIn, but I need to find like that kind of goal. In my own personal life, <laughs> my goal is probably just to like stay afloat this year um, and try not to be too hard on myself. And if I don't have a day that I'm feeling great, know that it's okay to not do anything. And I think I kind of beat myself up a bit about that last year, like 2020 was, I mean, not the year we expected, but I don't think I was as kind to myself as I could have been. My friend Jack asked me, how many pieces of bum can I shove up my bum? No. <laughs> he asked, how many pieces of Lego can you stuff up your bum? Don't know, haven't, haven't checked. What are you looking forward to after lockdown? I think everyone feels the same and it depends on when this lockdown ends, to be honest, because if we're ending in like March, April time, we're still not gonna be having gigs, so there's no point with being like, I want a gig, because it's not gonna happen. Um, I'd love a festival season, but 
I don't think it's going to happen. What am I looking forward to, I guess? I'm really looking forward to going home. I want to give my parents a hug. I want to give my grandparents a hug. We didn't get to have Christmas. And so I'd like another, like a fake Christmas. Um, that'd be lovely. Uh, just And also just seeing my friends. Like I haven't seen a lot of my friends in person in so long. And just to be able to like see everybody, I think, would be lush. And also my lecturers. I didn't say goodbye to basically anyone from uni. And that's really, really sucks. Um, so yeah, I'd really like to be able to kind of say goodbye to everyone. What are the positives about being down in Cornwall for you during lockdown? I know it's really, I know it's really cliche, but um, living like a 10 minute walk to the seaside and it being like a chill seaside rather than it being like Brighton or Eastbourne, it's like a beautiful picturesque landscape and there's so many like hidden coves and beaches and it's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. And I think just having that like freedom and feeling less like you're in this hustle culture my mum asked how much do I miss her? A lot. She doesn't believe me when I tell her I do, but I do miss you. Um, where do you get inspiration from when you're thinking ideas for a shoot? This is interesting. In terms of shooting, I mean at the moment it doesn't really happen, but generally speaking I get a lot of inspiration from online. I spend a lot of time on Pinterest, spend a lot of time on Instagram, like a lot of time. I think a lot of my inspiration subconsciously comes from Instagram and Pinterest and online like platforms, seeing lots of other people's work. I think as well, I'm not really a magazine person. I wish I was, but I don't see the point really in having loads of tangible objects, but kind of just finding inspiration with what's around me and also living where I do. A lot of my photo work is basically based around the landscape and not in like a fine art way, but I tend to shoot a lot of my portraits outside. I use a lot of already I use a lot of natural light that's already outside so I don't necessarily have to like curate like a, a space it's kind of already made for me through a landscape so I get a lot of inspiration from living in Cornwall and that's one of the reasons I didn't move back home to London after uni is just because I find a lot of inspiration from being by the sea and living near thick forest I always get a lot of questions to do with Falmouth Uni and there's a fair few of the questions I ask so I'll talk a bit about uni. I absolutely loved my time at Falmouth and I think if you followed my channel for the whole time I was at uni there you will know how much I loved it. It genuinely was the best three years. Um, it was so creative, so wonderful and I think a lot of that was down to course and my lecturers and the people I met and I know there's people who don't enjoy the uni as much as I did because of their personal course so I can only really talk on behalf of doing press and ed and I personally think if you put the effort in you'll be rewarded for what you do and you've just got to put the effort in and I know I know the situation right now isn't ideal I mean I'm very aware of that. Living in Falmouth itself as a student is the most unique uni life I think I have ever and anyone I know has ever experienced because it's not a uni life comparable to any city at all. I had a lot of friends who went to uni in big cities and when I tell them my stories you you just can't compare them because Falmouth Uni is bumping into everybody all the time like where no matter where you go on a normal week if you're wondering who town you're going to cafes you see somebody you know everywhere and I I miss that a lot and I still I still know a lot of people who live here and I still walk down the high street bumping into people I know but uh, I really miss that feeling of like being surrounded by people you know all the time like there's something that there's something that's really valuable and quite special about that that you don't even really realize when you're when you're not doing it but a lot of people also often ask do i think it was valuable doing a foundation year and 100 percent yes i don't know if they're still free i when i did my art foundation i didn't have to pay for anything it was provided for by the government and it was the most valuable one year because i felt so much more growing up do when i went in to do my degree having that like year out and that space to kind of have known that i played with all the materials to then decide on what i was doing for my degree was so valuable and knowing that then i hadn't paid for that year so i was already one step ahead there is no rush to go to uni i think everyone thinks like i have to go when i'm 18 when i'm fresh out of school i actually think if you wait a couple of years or like you wait a year you do a foundation year you decide on that subject you really really love you're going to be so much better set for your actual degree rather than like rushing into it because there's this kind of rush that we're told about i just don't think it's worth rushing for i just think you should just take it as it comes my favourite, favourite thing about living here is, yeah, that feeling of 
walking down the high street and seeing people you know. I, I don't know, it's funny, it's the weirdest town. I've never lived in a small town, I'm originally from like South London, so I never had that like familiarity thrilling growing up, like I wasn't, I guess I wasn't used to like a small town where you'd you'd wander through and bump into someone you know, I, I was never really used to that. And then moving here when everyone knows your business and everyone knows everything about every ex-boyfriend and every like night out and that one thing you did three years ago and it, it it's something that I think makes this town so special is because you just do bump into those people all the time. So generally how I'm feeling at the moment, it's kind of weird I think getting out of uni during a pandemic was always going to be quite strange and trying to find my way photographically was always going to be quite strange. I had really big goals before COVID hit of like what the summer was gonna look like, what my plans were, where I was, where I saw myself going. And it's been hard knowing that like those plans haven't and can't happen. And I guess, I guess it's a good thing in terms of, it's not like I've broken my leg and I can't do these things and everyone else is still off making wonderful work and doing incredible things. I am one of, many people who was in the exact same position so I just am counting my lucky stars that like my family and myself are in such good health and all of my friends are well and we will like we will get over this eventually. Graduating anyway is such a hard period of your life like it's already such a strange concept to already really bogged down with like not being able to see everybody and feeling really unstable post-grad and it's already a really hard period of time and then to not be able to like see anybody and feel like your uni life was over had it did make it really hard and there's like no beating around the bush like the, f the first few months after knowing if uni was officially over and moving out of my uni house that I lived in with the boys was really hard. I was saying this to my boyfriend the other day I find it hard knowing that like my best girl chummies don't live in the road two do two door like two streets along, and like I can't just go knock on their door and like go say hi, and I find that weird. But like that's just growing up. Like it was never gonna be, it was never gonna be like that anyway. They were never gonna stay, even if COVID hadn't have happened. I think I I feel I feel super lucky to still be able to live here and to have my studio space and still be making work and still be producing and to be having this new presenter role on the show that I'm doing and still be like doing a lot of social stuff like I feel so lucky that I am still creating and I think a lot of people have hit a rut of not really knowing what to do but I feel very like privileged that I am still ticking on I guess and like pushing pushing forward the day after I handed in I already had freelance and corporate work I had to do and that continued from May through to August so I think because I didn't actually have a time to not do anything I felt very like well I've just got to, I've just got to get on with it I don't really feel like um uni's over for me anyway like I don't I don't feel like it's finished I feel like I want a graduation and I want to see my lecturers I want to get like a big hug and like I don't feel like there was any celebration uh, there was for my family and my friends but I don't feel like there was a celebration that we should have had I can't put like a photo of me in Dawn French who's like the chancellor of our uni in a frame on my desk and be like she was there when I I did that thing and I think a big thing at the moment is I feel very overwhelmed by social media but I also it's the place that I feel like the most connected which yeah feels kind of hard because I can't really put my finger on it, but I I talk to so many people through being online. But at the same time, being online is making me feel super overwhelmed. Um, but because of my job, I can't really not not be online. Like I I can't really remove myself from it because I need to be active. So I was talking about this with my boyfriend yesterday. Like we both miss the feeling of knowing you could, even if you didn't really want to. Like his parents live abroad. It's like we could just go to Italy tomorrow. But we can't and it's that whole like I wasn't going to go to Italy tomorrow but like I know I can't and that that like someone telling you okay COVID telling you you can't go travel is is really difficult despite not knowing you were going to go anywhere anyway I really hope you guys have enjoyed this chat sorry that it's been super rambly but I thought it would be nice to have a little update I hope this has um filled your day with a little bit more jazz just Sunday brighten it up a bit I'm hoping to really 
get my head back into this YouTube game this year and I have really missed like the therapeuticness of sitting in a room by myself and having like a long conversation to a camera and it sounds really backwards when you don't do it but when you've done it for eight years and then you suddenly don't it's a really nice process to be able to watch back and see yourself develop online if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up let me know how you're all feeling in the comments and any videos you'd want to see because i would love some ideas because i feel very new to this space again and i don't really know what to what to make of it which is strange make sure to give me a follow on instagram and other socials they're all linked in the description box and i will speak to you guys next sunday bye